So I'm kind of in a different location today because um, I'm not filming this on Friday like I was supposed to. Um, it's Saturday the next day. I just was not feeling good on Friday. I was feeling really sick and weak and you know just having a really hard time getting things done. Um, but my husband's home so I had to film in the bedroom but I thought this would be a nice background. Um, it's just a fake fireplace. It's not real but Alright, so I just want to go through my pregnancy updates and actually add something kind of new that I haven't been doing with my other videos. Um, just to kind of give an update on how big the baby is and kind of, you know, just a little bit about the baby. Because I always think that's like, you know, um, exciting to hear in a video. So, first are the questions. How far along? So I'm 11 weeks and one day because yesterday I was 11 weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm 11 weeks and one day. Maternity clothes. Um, I well I showed in my last um, two videos or so um, that I'm kind of transitioned. But a lot of that was because I was really uncomfortable and my stomach is not really huge. I'll show um, a bump update after this video. But um, it was just really hard to wear regular jeans. And this past week I was able to wear one of my regular jeans. But it was, it was ones that were kind of stretchy. So um, it didn't bother me as bad. But um, it still is like uncomfortable. So I just, I don't fully fit in my maternity jeans yet. I can wear the leggings, but you know, I don't want to wear them every single day. Um, but, or the maternity leggings, I don't want to wear every single day. Um, but the maternity jeans, I wore them twice and they fit everywhere else except for right where my stomach area is. It's just a little bit too small. Um, for the pants, which is funny because I've never bought a size small pants and then have them be too big. It's just funny, but it's just how maternity clothes works. But um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of wearing a lot of leggings and whatnot, uh, regular leggings. Stretch marks, none yet. Sleep, I have been having a really hard time sleeping lately. I can't get comfortable. I'm um, just having a lot of like dreams, not really nightmares, but mostly just like crazy dreams that wake me up and I'm um, still getting up to go to the bathroom a lot and yeah, my sleep's kind of like all over the place right now. Best moment this week, going to the doctors uh, just to be able to finally have my first visit and I got blood work done which is actually pretty hard for me. I don't like needles and they had to take about five or six tubes of blood which isn't a lot but for me like to sit there, um, I was fine right after and then I think just kind of thinking about it and I didn't really eat a ton before I went there so it was still morning in the morning like I need a lot of food and I think you know with the blood taken out and not eating a lot I think it just really went to my head and um, I had to stay there for a while they're really nice though so that was good they they took good care of me um, but that was probably like you know the best moment even though I got pretty dizzy um, there but just to finally have my first visit and find out more information and how they're gonna do things and you know just a lot of like information it kind of like slowly starts to really make you realize that you're actually pregnant and you know you have all the stuff to do and get tons of blood work and shots and which I'm not really looking forward to that part but you know I'll deal with it and uh, you know if it's for the baby and the health of the baby and me then you know I'll do what I can but so yeah that was probably one of my highlights um, or my best moments this week along with that I have two more appointments coming up which are super exciting I have one this Monday so super close um, after my uh, first appointment which was Thursday I am going to be hearing the baby's heartbeat so that's gonna be really cool 
and um, they're going to do other like, you know, physical um, checkup and make sure that I'm, you know, fully uh, healthy. So that will be good. And then I get an ultrasound like two weeks after that. So that's like super exciting. But that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, miss anything. Um, still deli meat. I really wish I could have a, um, an Italian sandwich. And I know that I can cook the meat and then, you know, put it in my sandwich. But it's still not the same. Um, so it's just kind of like the one thing that I've been craving a lot. And I didn't think that I'd actually miss it because it's not something I craved when I wasn't pregnant. Um, but other than that, I haven't really craved, or I don't really um, miss too much right now. It's Right now I'm just not really that into a lot of, um, Stewie, is that you? I think my cat's trying to get out. I haven't really been into food lately. I know that's bad to say being pregnant you're supposed to you know eat a lot but I just I have no clue what I want anymore and when I think about food sometimes it's just kind of like eh I mean my husband bought frozen pizza which is the one thing that I really wanted um like a couple weeks to a month ago and when he said it last night I was just like eh <laughs> like that sounded really gross to me so I just really never know what I want you know each day and each time I have my meal so that's kind of frustrating uh, food cravings um, I don't really really have any crazy cravings um, a lot of my cravings I feel like has kind of like disappeared besides the Italian sandwich but that's starting to fade but yeah, I think most of my cravings are pretty much gone. I do crave a lot of sweets, though, and still oranges, but it's not like, you know, severe craving where I feel like I'm going to go insane. Um, but that's pretty much it. Anything make you queasy or sick? Uh, yeah, just if I don't eat when I need to, which sometimes it's hard when I really don't want food. And the smell of bad smells, like bad garbage or anything like that. If I get a whiff of something, it makes me really queasy. But for the most part, it doesn't, like a lot of things don't really affect me too much. So that's good. Gender, don't know yet, but hopefully they said um, 19 weeks. So that's like another um, eight weeks away, which hopefully will go by fast. Um, labor signs, I hope not. <laughs> Symptoms... Um, just been still really, really tired, starting to get sick again, um, which hopefully I only have one more week of that because I'll be at my second trimester within the next six days or so, so that's crazy, or five days. Yeah, so that this coming Friday I'll be 12 weeks, so I'll be in my second trimester, so hopefully my, you know, um, energy and everything just kind of kicks up and... I'm not sick anymore. Um, what other symptoms? Still, you know, going to the bathroom a lot. And I think that's pretty much it. You know, just still the basics. Belly button in or out, still in. Wedding rings on or off, still on. Um, happy or moody most of the time. I've been starting to get pretty irritated and moody lately. Um, but... I mean, I'm of course I'm happy, like it's weird, you know, because of course you're happy with what's going to happen and stuff, but I've been really stressing out lately and I think it's just because I have a lot to do as far as I have so many appointments to go to and plan, you know, to plan around them and I have a lot of paperwork and just a lot of things that are sent to me that I have to figure things out and, you know, it's, it's a lot on my plate and I understand that it's something that I need to get done and it's for the baby and whatnot but um, being pregnant with all these hormones you know it makes it more severe than it has to be I guess I guess you get more frustrated than you know you normally would so it's a little like frustrating some days when I get a lot of paperwork and I'm like ah it's too much to deal with but 
you know, you just have to try to calm yourself down and not get too stressed out because it's not good for myself or the baby. So looking forward to, um, I'm looking forward to the two appointments coming up. Um, my next one Monday, like I said, for the um, heartbeat list or the to hear the heartbeat and then the ultrasound a couple weeks after that. So that's going to be super exciting. And finally actually getting a proper belly because I'm at that stage where I don't really have a a proper bump or a proper belly so it just kind of looks funny I just kind of look a little chunky sometimes in certain outfits um, but I have noticed that I've actually lost a pound when I went to the doctors or a pound and a half or so um, which is normal it's not like any you know anything big around this time you usually do end up losing about a pound to two pounds so I'm not worried or, worried or anything because I know that eventually within the next couple weeks I'll start gaining uh, my proper weight. But um, yeah, I've been feeling pretty slim besides like my belly area, which has actually has gone down because a lot of it was, you know, major swelling from um, just bloating and whatnot. And a lot of that bloating has gone down. I think part of it is because I upped my fiber intake. So that could be part of it, but also around this time you're supposed to um, see a lot of difference in your bloating. So, so that is it for the questions. And as far as the baby, the baby is about um, one and a half to two inches, so cl closer to two inches, and it's the size of a fig, um, which I've never actually really held like a actual fig like I've had fig newtons and stuff with fig in it but um I never actually held a fig in my hand so I really don't it's like hard to judge when you don't know the fruit that they pick um let's see what else there's a lot that happens with the next like week or so um I mean they can hear now uh they're they're moving and their bones are like formed, their brain is formed, um, they have all their like their um, nervous system and their you know just everything is like pretty much mostly developed um, and by the end of your your first trimester most of everything will be like completely developed like the crucial stuff and whatnot but um, it's you know, arms and everything. I mean, it still looks a bit alien-ish, but it, um, it's starting to look more human and more like a little baby. And yeah, so it's just crazy how fast, you know, time goes by. I just feel like I found out the other day that I was pregnant and now it's two months since then, or almost two months since then. And I've been pregnant for almost three months. Like, that's crazy. Time goes by way too fast. But it'll be exciting because, you know, more things to come. And, of, of course, the, you know, end result, which is, you know, adorable little baby. So that will be exciting. But, but, yeah, that's my pregnancy update. So I thought I would do a quick bump update um, to add to this video because I haven't done one in a while. Um, but it's not that big. That's what it looks like. Hasn't changed a whole lot. So, it's just a little one. Is it from the front? From the other side? Which is probably going to get washed out by the light, but that's what it looks like. So, not so much, but it's something. <laughs> I um, try to change it up a little bit so it's not just, you know, so boring in each video as far as just like asking the same questions, um, which can be repetitive if you feel the same most of the week. So I'm going to try to add like about the baby and how it's growing and then of course I'll have pictures and possibly videos of the ultrasound and um, different things like that to kind of change it up. And um, of course for my family because I know they're going to want to see that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just, 
you know, really exciting and a lot of things going on. I've been super busy, hence the reason why I haven't been uh, posting a lot of videos that I have filmed. I have a lot filmed that I just need to edit and post, but I just haven't had the time. But I'm going to work on those and then put them up because they're... Um, there is a baking video and a cooking video, so a couple different ones to put up. Um, so I hope that you all are doing well, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!